Hi, I'm Alexis Taylor, Director at the Oregon Department of Agriculture. Welcome to a day in the life of ODA. Protecting Oregon agriculture and natural resources from invasive insects is a critical role of our agency. Today, you'll get to see how we detect problems before they get too big. Oregon is under constant threat of biological invasion by exotic insects that can do great harm to the state's ecosystems, natural resource industries, and even urban livability. Detecting these invaders early is important, and it's the job of the Oregon Department of Agriculture survey technician, also known as the insect trapper, to keep on the lookout. So we want to know about them as soon as they're here, and then make a plan about how to eliminate them. Kirsten Richard is with ODA's Insect Pest Prevention and Management Program, which sets out thousands of traps each year to detect adult insects that can do great damage. We set traps. Generally, they are going to be pheromone-based traps to attract adult insects. Uh, we use non-toxic, no-pesticide traps. The insects are attracted to the pheromone. They fall in or they get stuck, and then they can't get out. Many Oregonians are familiar with gypsy moth traps. The pest has shown up many times the past several decades, usually brought in by people visiting or moving to Oregon from infested states back east. Having thousands of gypsy moth traps placed in strategic locations helps keep the invader from becoming a permanent resident of Oregon. On the inside, they're sticky and they fly in and they get stuck and they can't leave. And then the lure is just a pheromone lure um, so it smells like the female moth. The female is the only one that creates this pheromone, so we can only attract males. The male moth flies in looking for his girlfriend, and he flies in and gets stuck. Another invasive insect of concern is Japanese beetle. A different kind of trap is set for that pest. The Japanese beetle flies in and it hits the plastic. It can't grab on anywhere and it falls down into the funnel. And then when it falls in, falls into a little cup and they can't get out of the hole. They're not very smart. Insect traps generally go up in late spring and capture adults throughout the summer. Trappers check them as often as possible and then do a final check in early fall when the traps are picked up for the year. So if we did catch an insect in our trap, the first thing we have to do is confirm that it really is. Some insects are so small that you can't identify it for sure in the field and we have to send it to the lab to be looked at under a scope, a microscope or a dissecting scope in order to verify what it is. Agriculture, forestry, natural habitat, and even people's backyards are at risk from invasive insects. The ODA survey technician provides the traps and the eyes that help detect these unwelcome guests early so that Oregonians don't have to learn to live with them. Thank you for taking time to see a little bit of what the Oregon Department of Agriculture does for you every day. I hope you continue to learn and appreciate the services our dedicated folks provide for all Oregonians. Goodbye for now.